Hello, so this is my uh, Mechatronics project. Uh, basically what it is, is it's a robotic arm that's controlled by a glove with a few flex sensors. One here, one here, and there's also an accelerometer right here, which I will now tape so it doesn't fall off. Um, if you zoom into the breadboard here, we got um, four stepper motor controllers. So basically what the way it works is these are uh, four pin uh, bipolar stepper motors <clears throat> and the stepper uh, controllers allow it so that you can control the entire stepper motor with two pins on the Arduino. So there's one pin for the step and one pin for the direction. And so basically from those two pins you can control a four pin stepper motor and that way you can use a Uno to control a million stepper motors. Anyway, so like I said before we have um, a flex sensor on the thumb, we have a flex sensor on the middle finger, then we have an accelerometer then we have our four stepper motors here. Um, these two are have uh, gear reduction. We have a five to one uh, planetary gear reduction on them because these are like the so so uh, so called heavy lifting uh, motors, so they can handle a lot more torque. Um, this motor controls the up and down of the claw. Um, there's no gear reduction on this one. It's just a 3D printed gear on the. Uh, Pull the motor and then a, another three pin gear. This one is the same deal. This one makes the robot go this way. Also forgot to mention, um, there's these two servos here. These are 9G servos mounted on the claw to control the jaws of the claw. So. All these parts are 3D printed at the prototyping club. Um, took us several variations to get it to work. But uh, yeah, designed the whole thing in SolidWorks. Uh, uses uh, skateboard bearings and uh, some smaller size bearings with bolts to connect everything so it's really smooth. Um, and yeah, so I guess I'll just uh, fire it up. And the first thing it's going to, oh, if you want to come on the back here, um, aside from this wiring mess, <clears throat> um, there's limit switches. So basically, this allows you to zero the robot so it'll be able to not. Inter interfere with itself so like if it keeps going back there's a sensor to tell it to stop if there's no sensor to tell it to stop it's gonna crash so other than that I guess I'll fire it up and we'll see if we can pick up the ducky or snoopy or you know Darth Vader so right now it's zeroing itself and you'll see it hit the switches First one, second one, third one. Now it'll go to like a middle position and then after it goes to the middle position, I'll be able to control it with my, uh, my glove. So I'm gonna move like these things over here. Real soon we'll be able to control it with the glove. All right, so now we're in the glove control. So I'll start with my wrist. If I go like this, it goes backwards, if I go like this, this goes forwards. Now if I flex my middle finger downward a little bit, it goes down. If I go back to the middle, it stops. Same thing if I go up. It'll go up and then I stop. Now if I want it to go faster, I, go, I flex a little bit more. So there's speed one, speed two. Same thing for the upwards. Speed one, speed two. Now if I want to change the orientation of the claw, I flex all the way. Down, up, down, up, down, up, and so that, that's how it works. And then also if I want to rotate it, I put my glove to the left, so on and so forth. So now we're going to try and pick up like one of those action figures down there. It's a little slow, um, but you know, future versions of the program will make it improve. Now if I take my thumb and I flex it, it grabs the rubber ducky. Now let's say I just want to move it to the left, and we'll just bring it all the way up. All the way. Now I want 
want to stop right there, we'll just open. Ta-da! So, there you have it. A pre-printed robot arm, completely controlled by a glove with two flex sensors, and an accelerometer. Thanks.